In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to calculate the standard normal percentiles in Excel. Okay, and you may have seen the standard normal table, and here's a website all devoted to the standard normal table, and this is what it looks like. And when you're trying to find percentiles, you look in the center for the probability that you want, then you look out to the z-values. It's a little complicated. Actually, I think it's overcomplicated and it's outdated. Um, nowadays, we have really great calculators like Excel that can do this a lot quicker and easier for us. So um, let's talk about how to do it. So let's let z be the standard normal random variable. Do you remember that just means that z is distributed with a mean 0 and standard deviation 1. That's what standard normal means. Okay. So first, let's find the 90th percentile of the z distribution. Okay, so here's my z distribution centered on 0. And the 90th percentile is some value, some z value. I don't know. What is that z value? That's the 90th percentile. There's 90% of the distribution is less than whatever that z value is. Okay, sometimes you'll see it written as a k value. Right, so some value uh, we don't know where 90% is less than that number. Okay, percentile in general means the percentage that's less than. Okay, all right, so I can calculate this in Excel. Let's go to Excel. What I'm going to type in is equal norm.s. The s means the standard normal, and I'm going to write inverse, inv. Okay, open parentheses. And the only thing I need to tell it is the probability. So the probability is always going to be the probability to the left. So 0.9. Close parentheses. Enter. There you go. That's the answer. 1.28. It also gives me the answer with a lot more decimals than the table would give me because the table only goes to two decimal places. So another reason why it's better than the table. All right, so 1.28. That's my answer. So this k value is... 1.28. In other words, the probability that z is less than 1.28 is that 0.9. All right, so that's my answer, 1.28. All right, moving on, find the 10th percentile of the z distribution. So here's my z distribution once again, 0 right there. Now 10th percentile, I know that's going to be somewhere over to the left because it's less than half, right? This is, this is half. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, right? Halfway, because this is a symmetric distribution centered on zero. Okay, so 10%, it's gotta be somewhere down here, right? So here's my unknown K value and 10% or 0 0.10, somewhere down here, okay, less than. Okay, so I know that my answer, it is going to be to the left of zero, so that means it is gonna be z negative, okay? Whatever I get from my K value, I should get a negative value, okay? So let me go to Excel. I'm going to type in equals norm.s.inv. Okay, and open parentheses, and the probability I'm giving it is 0 0.10. Close parentheses, press enter, negative 1.28. So this k value is negative 1.28. Hmm, isn't that interesting that the 10th percentile is negative 1.28 and the 90th percentile is positive 1.28. Okay, what's going on here? Basically, I have a symmetric distribution, right? And if 90% is on this side, then 10% is on this side. And if 10% is on this side, then 90% is on that side, right? So it makes sense that these are the same number, just different signs positive and negative because they are on opposite sides of zero, but the same percentage on either side of the number, 10 and 90 and 90 and 10. Okay. All right, lastly, find the Z value for the top fifth percentile, top fifth percentile of the Z distribution. Okay, so that word top is a key word here. Okay, so instead of, in general, when we say percentile, we mean bottom 90th percentile, bottom 10th percentile. We don't use the word bottom because percentile in general just means the area to the left of whatever um, value that percentile value is, okay? But sometimes we do want to know the top percentile. So that basically means the area to the 
right instead of the area to the left. So centered on zero, there's some value k where 0 0.05, the probability of being more than k is 0 0.05. Okay, so that's what the word top. Top means the area to the right, as opposed to the area to the left, which is what we usually assume when we say percentile. Okay, so how do I figure this out? All right, well, if I go into Excel, it's going to require that I give it the area to the left, not the area to the right. So what is the area to the left? Well, the total area is one. Right? So the area back here must be 1 minus 0 0.05. 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0.95. Okay? So this area back here is 0.95. And that's what I need to give Excel. So let me go to Excel. Type equal norm.s.inverse. And let's ask 0.95. 1.64 All right, so this value of k is 1.64 The top fifth percentile of the z-distribution is 1.64 and actually that is the same thing as the 95th percentile Is exactly the same thing as the top fifth percentile